Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We are now going to take you out on uh, a fire station tour. So when tour groups uh, ask to take a tour at the fire station, uh, this is kind of what they find out there. All right, boys and girls, you ready for the firehouse tour? Yeah. I use the word firehouse because this is our house. There are firefighters that live here. There are four people on crew that live here at all times. We also have three college students that live here. Yep. So this is our exercise room. The locker rooms are back behind you. And you'll notice as we do our tour that this is a really big building. This building was not built as a firehouse. This is actually the third use that this, is, this building has been used for. It's been a police station and a, a village hall as well. So we're gonna do a lot of walking on our tour. So it's a long ways away from where we eat and sleep, but this is where we get to come work out when we have spare time. All right, so these are the offices. You were just in the room back over here getting a safety presentation, right? So down the hall here is our chief's offices. They'll be like your principal and your vice principal. That's who they are. They kind of need to be separated so they can make their phone calls and do their meetings and things they need to do. This is where we sleep. We have sheets and comforters and pillows here that stay here. We wash them here every day um, so that it's ready for the next crew tomorrow. Usually we have four, the four people on the truck at all times. And then there's usually an intern or two around. So we usually have about six, maybe a chief, six or seven people eat dinner, lunch and dinner at this table and the same at the other firehouse. So that's why we need a big space, a big kitchen and a big table for us to all get together. So over here you can see where we keep all of our gear. So like you guys probably have lockers at school. We have lockers here at the station where we can keep all of our gear and any sort of extra gear that we have, we also keep here. Um, so everyone has their name on it, so it's assigned to one individual person. And behind you, we have our ladder truck. So up at the top, I don't know if you can see that big white thing at the top, that extends 105 feet into the air. Yeah, kind of. So we can either spray water from that height, or we can go to windows and rescue people from windows and do all sorts of stuff with this truck. But like Dave said earlier, there's no water on this truck. It's just a big toolbox. Said, I'm Firefighter Breeze, and I'm going to show you guys uh, our fire gear that we wear uh, when we go to fire scenes. Um, so uh, the first thing we have is our boots and our pants. We put those on first. So the first thing we'll put on is our hoods, and this is going to protect our hair and our neck and our ears from uh, any fire. And then we'll put our boots on. Our boots are either made of rubber or leather. These are leather boots. And they have steel in the toes and steel in the bottoms so that if we step on sharp things, they won't hurt our feet. So next we'll put on our coats. Our coats have these big snaps on them and big clasps. So we'll buckle it all up. And then we have Velcro. Put this around our neck. Now we're nice and protected. Okay, and next we can take our mask and we'll put this on over our face. Now once he puts that on, his voice is gonna change a little bit. But that's just to protect him, and that's just a, a muffled sound. Okay. So now here's what I sound like with the mask on. Okay. And I'm gonna pull the hood back up now. So now he's protecting himself, his face, so his hair and his neck and yeah. his ears. Everything is covered. Okay, and finally, we can take our hose here that connects to the bottle and we'll clip it into our mask. And now we're breathing nice, clean air. This is the fire truck. Um, this right here, this is called an engine. We also have, over there we have a ladder truck, which we can look at that too, but um, this is our main response unit here. Um, this carries water, and as you see here, it carries hose. This is, you know, just like you guys have at home, it's like garden hose, but it's, but it's a bit bigger, it's a bit stronger. Uh, so this truck is primarily just for putting out fire. Um, it's got those connections. You guys have, what are those red things all lined across your street? Yeah. What are those things called? You guys know what those are called? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what are they? Fire hydrants? Fire hydrants. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's what, that's what this truck connects up to. So, so this truck has a bunch of tools strictly just for putting out the fire. Hi, I'm, a, I'm Firefighter Tim, and this is? Firefighter Brady. And we're gonna talk a little bit about fire safety today. The first thing we're gonna talk about is something that happens is if you were to accidentally catch on fire, like maybe you're out roasting marshmallows and you get a little too close, 
and your sleeve catches on fire and your, your, your clothes are on fire, well, what do you do? Okay? Most people, when they catch on fire, you know what they do? They go, I'm on fire! Okay, that's the wrong thing to do. You don't know why? Because if you run around, all you're doing is you're fanning the flames. They're going to get bigger. You're going to get more burn. Okay? What you have to do is the first thing you do is you stop. Everyone say stop. Stop. Okay, the second thing you do is you drop. So you drop down onto the ground. Everyone say drop. Drop. And the third thing you do is you cover your face and you roll over like a log. Okay? And what you're doing is you're putting the flames out. You're, you're kind of patting them out all by yourself. You don't need anyone else to help you. So I want you guys to imagine this. You're sleeping, and all of a sudden you hear this. What is that? That's, that's the smoke alarm. It's the smoke alarm. What do you do? There's, there's smoke, okay? Might not be a fire, but there's definitely smoke, right? Now, does the smoke alarm put the fire out? No. No, it just lets you know that there's smoke and potentially a fire there. So if you hear a smoke alarm, what are you supposed to do? You go right you run outside. Okay, you want to get outside. Now, do you want to run? No. No, because you know what happens when you run and you're scared? You can easily trip over things and fall down. If you trip and hurt yourself, and you're sitting there holding your knee, oh, I hurt my knee. Okay, and the house is on fire. It's not a good thing. You want to carefully work your way out. You also want to yell, let everyone know that you're leaving the house. There you have it. Uh, we're going to post this up actually as a show uh, coming yeah. up uh, because there was more to the uh, to everything that happened there, but kind of the sum up of. A fun tour of the like a fun day. It was a fun day. All right, we're going to take a really quick break. We'll be right back with PB&J. TF. <laughs> 